What is Lapis even looking at here? Eyeball looks directly at the group here, but somehow doesn't see them. I guess she only has one eye, but I assume that eye at least works, surely. Also, Eyeball was using her left hand to leave the ship in this shot, but in the next shot, she's using her right. When Steven picks up the box, it's upside down in this shot, but in this shot, it's right side up. I have a plan, or should I say we have a plan? Why exactly does Garnet decide to take the diplomacy route now of all times? Seriously, this problem could probably be solved a hundred times faster if the gems didn't randomly decide they want to be peaceful. And even better, why did they make Garnet the person who comes up with the plan and not Steven? Usually Garnet's all about punching things, not talking to them. I get it might be different since Ruby is a part of Garnet and thus they might not want to immediately resort to violence, but surely the fact that they're homeworld gems would override that. And also, Ruby and Sapphire's gems look straight up flat in this shot. Ruby's gem disappears at multiple points in this episode. It's the core of their entire being, and they can't even draw that on them consistently. They want to search the barn! Can't she just leave the barn? Especially with that giant hole in the back. There's no reason for Peridot to just stick around there when they're about to search it. Just go out there and tell them this is a place where humans live. Oh yeah, it's not like there was a huge fucking war where homeworld gems killed humans. They will definitely not want to disturb any humans around the area. No such thing as a good war, kiddo. Gems were destroyed. People too. <laughs> Looks like we failed. Failed. You have to... Uh, play baseball! On the one hand, I kind of appreciate the idea of a joke that no one would really pay much attention to being the catalyst for an episode's main plot. It's kind of neat, even if it is a trope. But then again, this is where the plot ended up going. Baseball. Instead of being an interesting episode with new homeworld gems in which we can learn something new or even have some sort of big fight, we instead bend logic to have a basic-ass baseball episode trope. The gems are completely out of character, and the rubies are pretty much willing to waste their time despite being being on a mission directly from Yellow Diamond. All for baseball. Lovely. I saw that this was a possibility, though I am surprised that this is the path we're taking. Would you file that under an improbable future? Because if so, then there's no way Garnet should have been able to see this. Especially since she barely even knows what baseball is. Army's unibrow keeps disappearing over the course of the episode. In this shot, Steven has a catching glove in his left hand, but when he's tagging Eyeball out here, it's on his right. So either Steven just has two catching gloves he switches between for some reason, or it's just inconsistency. Which do you believe more? Ruby's hand is backwards in this shot. Ouch. I know the Rubies are dumb, but how do they not see Ruby's actions as suspicious with how she's interacting with the humans, especially when she starts helping one of them? Everything's gonna be A-OK. -okay. You're lying to me! To make you feel better! Thank you! No one's really standing over at this blackboard while the final play's going on, so what's the point of having a spot to keep track of balls and strikes? Ruby, stop being cute, and Sapphire, keep your eye on the ball. Pun intended? What did I just say? Just look at the ball. I'm trying, but all I want to look at is you. This is indicative of a larger problem that me and Noah have with Garnet, but don't you think that comments like that are signs of an unhealthy relationship? It's one thing for Ruby and Sapphire to want to be around each other as much as possible while they're separated, and it's also one thing for them to casually flirt. That's mostly fine. The issue is when it's implied that Sapphire can't even begin to concentrate on doing something very important without wanting to focus primarily on Ruby. Maybe I'm reading too far into this one comment, sure. But when the life of one of your own is potentially at stake, and Sapphire still just wants to concentrate on Ruby all the time, there's clearly a problem. Plus, there's a larger conversation to be had about how wanting to put every waking second of your time and energy into the other person in a relationship is very, very unhealthy, and how a relationship like that is touted by the show as the perfect relationship. But I feel that's something to be explored another time. The only important note here is that their relationship looks so unhealthy at the moment, that they're literally putting the life of one of their friends at risk for all they know. In between these two shots, the ice on the bat just completely disappears. Maybe there was some kind of explosion that made the ice melt and that's what it's insinuating? But then why didn't the bat immediately break in half? <laughs> Whoops. And Noah's point from earlier is substantiated even more by the fact that the game didn't even end up mattering. So what the fuck was the point of having them play baseball instead of anything remotely interesting? Because baseball episode. Also, Ruby's headband disappears in this shot. 
Also, also, Ruby and Sapphire's gems are in the wrong spots, and they have the same cuts on them when they shouldn't. Combine! Yeah, don't stop them from fusing or anything. Eyeball's gem in this fusion is oriented the wrong way in this shot. Neptune! She's on the planet Neptune! Or you could just tell them the truth? I don't see why you can't just tell them the last place you saw her and then go about your day. Considering the fact that they didn't want to hurt humans, they seem like they don't want to cause any trouble. Or you could just poof them. We see later that the gems have no trouble fighting the rubies after they fuse. So why not just take them out now and move on? Telling them that Jasper's on Neptune just seems pointless as they're obviously gonna come back like they did later on. Yeah, it's a human thing.